All right, so next session on this track. I think we got to go back to the drawing board a little bit and make some more bases and whatnot. Um, I do like this first section, but to get the next section, we're going to have to do some more sound design. But that's cool. But first of all, we'll just have a listen through. One thing I don't like is that little... That little white noise. That guy. Maybe a bit lower. section needs a lot of work. And I think the snare too is a bit, a bit hectic on the high end, so I might pull down the noise a bit. Something like that. Wonder what it'd sound like up seven. It's actually pretty cool. I think we'll leave it at a G for now. Alright, so that's still a bit more sound design. <clears throat> we really need some more uh, bases to work with. So, grab a MIDI track here. Grab a Spire. I do have a couple ideas. We could either, there's a few ways we could do this is make some kind of more mud pies or just make some tones that we can then load into samplers. But I think I might um maybe make one more mud pie. Um, I use Spire again. I just like Spire. <laughs> If you haven't noticed already, I'm we'll just so this I may have explained already, but I like to put it over here so it resets the phase every time. Any amount over 30 will reset the phase uh, sh where it's shown on the graph here. So, oh, I've already got a spy there. Let's just bring that down to a low G. One thing we could do is um, attach an envelope to the filter, maybe the infecto. So let's explain some of these filters. The perfecto is just a filter made by Reveal Sounds, the people that make this synth. Well, they all are, but I mean, this is their original design. The Acido is like a 303 copy. The Infecto, I believe, is also one... Oh, no, sorry. The Infecto is a copy of the Access Virus filter. The Scorpio is another one of their um, in-house models, their design. Combo is like a comb filter. Shaper is uh, sort of like distortion filter and the resonance is the amount um so we'll use the infecto which is like the uh virus i do love the virus i used to own well i've actually owned two um but yeah they're pretty buggy so in spire to get a fade on the lfo you just do this so might, 
might just um I just re-trigger this note so that fading comes in. Cool. And I go down here. I'll grab an OTT just to flatten out the dynamics a bit. Grab a saturator. Give it a bit of volume. And I might also grab maybe a um, notch filter. So Inspire again, you've got to change because this is in serial at the moment. Um, so one goes into the other. So if we go to one, it'll go from one to two. So if we put these in parallel, you want to um, have it in the middle so it goes to both filters equally. And then change the filter balance to the middle. But I think actually we'll do it. And then maybe we'll go cut off two and give that a negative amount. Just to give it a bit of movement. Still a bit of EQing after the multi band. See how notch there isn't moving. Now it should be. Yeah. We'll also do a a high cut. Maybe we'll um grab a few notches here. Let's just go frequency. Maybe also pop in another one and do a bit of a peak. Do frequency there. So I've got a couple of notches to mess with. Uh, that one's kind of sticking up a bit there. <laughs> Let's go through and just record a few. Oop. Give us a countdown. Do the same for this one. So that peak one is hanging out at the b bottom a bit too much, so I might just bring that up. Actually, that, they're both hanging out at the bottom a bit too much. Bring it up here somewhere. Yeah, it's better. Try that decimal. Uh, do a bit of uh, sample rate. 
probably want to put that before the filter. Actually, no, we won't do that. Might get a frequency splitter and just um, maybe chuck camel crush, uh, camel fat on top. Put a bit more of a boost here too. Let's go over into a spy here. Maybe do some FM, possibly. So you can load up these waves here, and this will actually modulate between this one and bass 2 at one octave lower. So I might get another LFO to modulate the wavetable mix. And maybe also the control A here. Uh, where are we? Oscillator 1, control A. Give it a bit of width. Um, I use where are we? Imager. Should have an imager in here. There it is. Now I don't know if we do have any sides. What I'll do is chuck on a utility. Just go. Yeah, so we got no side information at the moment. Um, we could do it in here, maybe with a bit of... Bit of chorus there. So Inspire again. Chorus modes, we've got all these different ones. This is the JP8000 chorus, a model of that. Sounds real nice. And then we'll just tighten all that up so we don't want any side information below 100. It sounds fine without any wit more width on top. So let's turn that off for now. We'll keep this one here just so we've still got a solid mono bass. And I think that'll do for that one. It's freeze and flatten.
And I think we'll just go straight into, whoops. I think we'll just go straight into trying to incorporate this into this drop. So, so there's some terrible um, stuff going on <laughs> in this second drop so far. I do think too it needs a bit more anticipation. So let's just go through quickly. That's bad. That one's bad. That's also bad. Not bad, an octave down. Let's just go back. So we go back, um, back to where. Actually, so I go back to where I was. So, so we got that hole. Cool. So I just copy all of that. Command C. Then we'll go back over here before our base is frozen. Go back and we'll change this to a sine wave. Um, FO2, FO3, and we'll just, ah, uh, sine wave, so saw wave. Let's do this. Let's turn this LFO down a bit. So we'll just bring the rate down a bit. Like that. And then we'll freeze and flatten that. Flatten. Delete this. Because I copied it before. Command C, Command V. Oh, it won't let me. Alright, that's fine. We'll have to go through and just delete those bases I didn't like. So just bring that there, turn that off. Go show and find in browser. And that's out of the last one we did. I just go delete these bases I didn't like again. Cool. See if we can get something going here. It's actually kind of cool. Um, but I might see if we can find something cooler. Really want to kind of pick up the heaviness and the groove in this section. Have a 
listen to that. Not too bad. Let's see what else we can get. So first of all, we should split these out, <coughs> out onto different tracks and go here. some overdrive. Yeah, it's kind of cool. A little bit more art. Some more saturator. See what that sounds like. Sweet, so maybe... Maybe even that backwards. Didn't line up. Put something there. Turn it off. See if we can do a little. I feel like these two are st what do I turn that down to? Minus four. And this kind of needs a bit more high end. Maybe just one K. Best sound ever. Just need a little glitchy thing in there. See if we can do it bigger. bend at the end here. We go 12. Down 12. And then in contact it's going to have to open this puppy up. 
here's a way to do this, and I've done it before. Is it mapping editor? Modulation, maybe. It's not modulation. Send effects, instrument buses. Alright. We can't work it out. We'll just uh, sample this section and then we can just pitch it down with a pitch bend in the clip. So 36. I think I only had one turned on. Yep. Cool. And we'll just go complex transposition down twelve. Send that to a delay. It could work. So very unprofessional of me. Checking my phone. <laughs> uh, I think the hi hat need I don't know why the hi hat's going through that section. Right at that kick, it should stop. Maybe we'll keep the one that was on the, the drum there. Yeah, I don't like this guy. I think it might be even too early it to come in. Just loop this for a second. I know we do have bass notes overlapping, but just to get the groove and, groove and stuff, I'm not worrying too much about that at the moment.
Yeah, that happens too early. So we might duplicate this over now. And then find something cool for this bit. Just got to put my phone on silent. There we go. I like this tone, not that one. Split that up. Different little whoa. I might have to keep these separate, they're not. Mind it. Let's try to find a little separate thing for here. not bad I think this does need to be processed a bit more what do we have on there uh, we've already got some stuff so bring that across I think it needs a little bit of a high boost I think these two guys need to be filtered again. Just a bit of auto filter. It's coming up a bit. I don't like that bit so much. I do like that tone, maybe we can... It's obviously overlapping. We could put it here. It's got a stupidly big bait on it. We got another bass there. Is that a bass? Yeah. So maybe
be kind of double these guys up a bit. That would be maybe a good spot for Do you think this needs a bit of... Bit of auto filter on that, just to bring it in. I uh, would we'll just automate that to come on just for this bit. Maybe get rid of this last one. See if this could be possibly a bit shorter. Nah. Just loop this and trap under. Not bad. Not great. <laughs> that could be cool, uh, filter. Go in, turn off the grid, control four. Bring this over a bit.
Just trying to get a bit of a groove going. Something like this might work. Better filtering here. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Let's have a listen in context. So maybe we'll just unwarp this so we can... Anyone something there, so... I like that tone. Um, see if we can maybe incorporate, incorporate this somehow. Not there. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> So maybe we'll warp this uh, tones mode, stretch it out a little bit. Just 
the way that tones works, um, at least to my ear, I'm not sure if this is actually technically correct, but if you move around the start point, it'll grab a, like a frame. This is how I picture it in my head. I don't actually know if this is true or not, but it sounds like it's like grabs a frame of the the start and it'll kind of loop that frame over. So if we go now, see if I saw it. It's all that first frame. And then if I move it over, almost like granular. See, there's a much smoother waveform where it's starting there. actually liked it where it was before. It's a little bit underwhelming. That's not a not a sound limit. It's actually kind of cool that that. Seems like it's just a bit disconnected, so. just for this sound.
a hundred percent solo. Uh, and f let's unwarp that. Maybe we can do something kind of cool on this and do a bit of a um, reverb automation. And then we'll also, just to keep that in check, do an imager after it. Just to keep the bass mono because at the moment so yeah we'll bring it down to Grab a little bit of here. Maybe like also take out the bass. Okay, I'm liking that groove now, so I'll save that. Um, I think that'll wrap up this one. But the track's starting to come along now. Um, just got to keep going. We'll find some more. I felt like we kind of hit a wall at the start of last episode, and now we're starting to get back. So um, we had a good run there getting this little melody and stuff together which is cool so we'll get back uh once we come back next time and get back into the groove of things uh, it's sweet cheers for watching